Hello, I hope everyone's well. I have a charity shop haul for you today. It is absolutely throwing it down with rain out there and it is miserable as anything today. So if it's raining where you are, I hope this cheers you up a little bit. So the thing I'm going to start with, didn't even buy in the charity shop, but we went to a tabletop sale a few weeks back and I only bought one thing to resell. So I thought I might as well show you what I bought. And it's this mahusive casserole dish with its lid. It's Pyrex and it is the floral brown floral vine pattern so yeah it's not JAJ it says Pyrex on the bottom here if I can get that in the light for you to see um, probably dates from the 1980s but it was a whole pound so I thought I can't lose on that Pyrex casserole dish for a pound I'm going to grab it, especially as it had its original lid with it. Um, looking at completed listings, anything from like, not particularly this design, I couldn't find any completed in this design, um, but this sort of size casserole dish Pyrex, anything from about 10 all the way up to £30. So... I think that I'm going to pitch it around sort of 15 to 25 mark. So I'll start it at 25, put some offers on it and see what happens. You never know. Um, it might end up going for about 10 pounds, but I spent a pound. So as I say, not gonna lose. I was not going to leave that on the table being as it was only a pound. And I quite like it, to be honest. We have a bit of a dilemma in this house at the moment. Because we're off grid in terms of gas, we have LPG gas and we have a gas hob. And the other day I was cooking dinner and Nick came along and he said, well, he was working out in the shed and he said, can you smell gas? So I went out in the garden and yes, it was really strong. And then came back in the house and realised that the potatoes had stopped boiling. So we thought, we assumed that the gas had run out, but then it doesn't make sense to me. See, I'm rambling now. It doesn't make sense to me that the, it would smell if the gas bottle had run out. If something's gone wrong with the bottle or the pipes or something out there, we even had a neighbour coming over. We tried to swap the bottles over. It still wouldn't work. So, long story short, because I bored you enough, um, we don't have any gas on our, for our hob. So I can't make any anything on the hob. I can't cook anything on the hob. And the majority of food that I cook is on the hob. So it's very annoying right now. And we, being bank holiday weekend, we haven't managed to find anybody to come out and have a look at it. So, long story even shorter, um, I was just thinking to myself that casserole dish might come in really useful for a little bit because I can make some casseroles. We do have a vintage slow cooker in stock that we haven't listed yet, so that is also an alternative. But I'm just thinking the size of this casserole dish, it may come in very useful. I can batch cook, put some in the freezer. Hmm, pause for thought there. Okay, so on to the things I did buy in a charity shop. And first up is this mug. And looking at it, you wouldn't imagine it is the brand that it is, but it is Port Merion. So I've never seen this design before but it was only a pound. So I thought I would pick it up and take a chance on it. 
and it should fetch about 10 to 15 pounds. It's a very nice size. You can imagine lots of um, coffee or hot chocolate in that. Very nice. Um, but no, I'm going to sell it. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to be good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, very unusual and different in terms of what I think of when I think of a Port Merion mug. But there we are. And then in another charity shop, I saw this vase sat on the shelf for £2. And it caught my eye. I thought it looked vintage and I was right. It is Schurich, it's West German. It doesn't go for as much as I thought it would. I thought that I, I thought the comps on that would be a bit more. Um, but it should get about 20 to 25. So that's not bad for two pounds, is it? Next up is this very pretty Art Deco biscuit barrel, cut glass biscuit barrel. Some people are using the keyword ice bucket as well, so I'll probably use both. I did pay £4.50 for this. But looking at completed listings, I think I'm looking at about £25 to £30 maybe. So although I paid a fair amount, in terms of how much I would normally spend on an item in a charity shop. I think it was worth it. It is really pretty. So I'm not sure if I've paid too much for this, but I couldn't leave it on the shelf. It was so pretty. I think my money's safe. I'm at least going to get my money back on it, aren't I? So, um, yeah, I'm glad I bought that in the end, really, because it is so, so lovely. I can't resist Studio Pottery when I see it, especially when it's only one ninety nine. So I picked up this little dish plate. It has a stamp on the bottom. It's Culloden Pottery, which is Scottish. And the potter is Bob Park. And it's not gonna set the world alight. It's probably gonna fetch about 10 to 12 pounds maybe, but I just find it very interesting to pick up studio pottery and find out about the potter, research the marks on it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that for £2. This however is potentially a fail. I'm still going to get my money back because it was only £2. But I did think that it would be worth more than it is um, and it is this. It is King Craft seven piece smoked glass bowl set. I saw it and I thought, oh, that looks very 70s. And I like a bit of smoked glass. I looked inside and it's all, all there, all intact. The bowls look like that. A little bit of fruit around the edge. It doesn't really look like it's been used that much. It's all still wrapped up. This is the bigger bowl. So it's kind of in that similar vein of, of like the apple bowls that I picked up, where you have one large one, which you'd use for, I don't know, trifle or some kind of a dessert. And then there are six of these bowls. Um, so yeah, I looked inside, I thought for two pounds, I'm going to grab that. And I probably still would if I was to do it again, but I thought it may be worth 20, 25 at the least. Someone else has got one listed at 14 pound 50. So it's potentially really only worth about 15 pounds. I mean, that's not terrible, is it? When my outlay was only two pounds. I've sold many things that I bought, bought for two pounds and sold for 15, and there's still a nice little return on that. But yeah, I was just disappointed because I thought the size of it, how much it's gonna cost to post. I honestly thought it'd be worth more, but there we are. You have to take a chance on these things. This, however, I'm extremely pleased with. 
this is my favourite pickup. It is this beautiful, beautiful jug. You know I love a jug. I spotted it on the shelf and I picked it up and then I saw that it was five pounds and I thought, five pounds, that's a lot. And then I looked at the stamp on the bottom and I couldn't make it out, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, it's very smudged. The words really aren't very, um, very clear at all. And I've not seen that stamp before. But I did a quick Google Photos search and it came back with Born Denby. And I thought, okay, looking just briefly at prices on the Google search, I thought, okay, yeah, that's worth five pounds. So happily, I grabbed it because it's beautiful and I was really sad to leave it, to be honest with you, I really wanted to buy it. Um, so happily I bought it and I've done a little bit more research. I thought this said Dorothy something. I thought it was like signed by the artist, um, but it's not. It is Danes Beware. So it turns out that Danes Beware is very early Denby and it was introduced in 1924, which is why the stamp, I suppose, looks very Art Deco. And the design of it's very Art Deco as well. So this is potentially late 20s, maybe into 30s. So I found a website that gave me a bit more information. And the Bourne Denby relates to Joseph Bourne and Sons, who produced the earliest Denby pieces. So it's well worth the five pounds. It's not worth masses of money, but I should be able to get about 30 to 40 pounds back on it. And back to potentially overpaying on an item. I paid £2.75 for this. It's grey shop pottery. It's very cute. I've had a piece of grey shop pottery before. I think it was, it wasn't a vase. I think it might have been a pot or something like that. And it sold quite well. So I grabbed this when I saw it because I know there are collectors of this, this particular style of pottery. Um, yeah, I think it's probably only worth about 12 to 15, but he's super cute. So I grabbed him, but not a huge return on that. And then once again, I can't resist picking up studio pottery, especially when it's only 50p. So I picked this piece up and it is signed on the bottom. There are some marks. I don't know if you can make those out in this light. I haven't researched it yet, so I don't know who the potter is, but at 50p it was worth picking up just so that I can do the research and learn a little bit as, as I go, as I like to do. Um, yeah, I mean, it's potentially 10, 15 pounds maybe. It might be more, it might be highly collectible, you never know. That's the thing about studio pottery, you never know whether you've picked up something that's really highly collectible or whether it's just something that's hardly worth anything. But it's worth taking a chance, isn't it? Especially when the price is low. And talking of low prices, I picked up this Sadler teapot, which was only two pounds. And there was a sugar pot with it, but that was also two pounds. Vintage Sadler teapots generally do very well. This is probably dated about 1950s, looking at the style of it. But it's not a design that's going to fetch a huge, huge amount, unfortunately. Um, I'm thinking about 20 to 30 for the two. But it's potentially less. While I've been doing my research, I haven't found this purple rose design but I found identical teapots to this with different floral designs on them. And they've either sold or they've been priced 
at all kinds of prices, ranging from £10 right up to 30 So that's why I think I'm going to pitch it high. As I say, I've got the sugar bowl with it. So, yeah, pitch it high, put offers on it and see where we go with it. May end up getting much less than I'm hoping for, but that's the way it goes. I'd still pay two pounds for a Sadler teapot any day of the week. So this seems to be the theme of this video, doesn't it? Not great, great returns on things, taking a lot of chances, but should still make a small profit. The very last thing I wanted to show you, uh, we picked up at a boot sale. And I did a boot sale haul and completely forgot to show you this. It was still in a bag. I think it's because I pulled everything else out to research and price, but I didn't really know where to start researching this. So I thought I'd leave it till later. And then I forgot to show it to you. So I'll show it to you now. And it is this stunning carved bust. And it has a sticker on the bottom which is a local village to us. But it's difficult to know if this sticker relates to the person who has created this, or is it just a sticker for the person who owned it? Did they put stickers on, you know, there was a thing, wasn't there, at one time, people used to put stickers on things they owned. Um, or maybe they were distributing them. Don't know. Not sure on the provenance of it, but I do know that I like it very much. It's beautifully made and it's a very unique item. It's not mass produced. So, absolutely no idea on that at the moment. Um, it might be a makeuperprice.com or I'll just price it in a ballpark area of what something very similar to that has sold for. But yeah, I think that's really, really interesting. So I just wanted to show you. And I can't remember how much we paid. It's one or two pounds, it wasn't a lot. So that's all my recent charity shop finds. What was your favorite? Mine? It's definitely this early Denby jug. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm just really happy to have learned a little bit more about the history of Denby along the way. So thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a really lovely bank holiday weekend, whatever you're doing. I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care, everyone.